Roberto Duran. In this Spanish name, the first or paternal surname is Duran and the second or maternal family name is Samaniego. Roberto Duran Samaniego, born June 16, 1951, is a Panamanian former professional boxer who competed from 1968 to 2001. He held world championships in four weight classes, lightweight, welterweight, light middleweight and middleweight, as well as reigns as the undisputed and lineal lightweight champion and the lineal welterweight champion. He is also the second boxer to have competed over a span of five decades, the first being Jack Johnson. Duran was known as a versatile, technical brawler and pressure fighter, which earned him the nickname Manos de Piedra, Hands of Stone, for his formidable punching power and excellent defense. In 2002, Duran was voted by The Ring magazine as the fifth greatest fighter of the last 80 years, while boxing historian Burt Sugar rated him as the eighth greatest fighter of all time. The Associated Press voted him as the best lightweight of the 20th century, with many considering him the greatest lightweight of all time. Duran retired for good in January 2002 at age 50, following a car crash in Argentina in October 2001, after which he had required life-saving surgery. He had previously retired in November 1980, June 1984 and August 1998, only to change his mind. Duran ended his career with a professional record of 119 fights, 103 wins, and 70 knockouts. From May 1971 up until his second fight against Sugar Ray Leonard in November 1980, as well as in his fight against Wilfred Benitez in January 1982, Duran was trained by legendary boxing trainer Ray Arcel. Early Life Roberto Duran was born on June 16, 1951, in Guarer, Panama. His mother, Clara Samaniego, was a native of Guarer and his father, Margarito Duran, an American of Mexican heritage was stationed in Panama for the U.S. Army at the time of Roberto's birth. He was raised in the slums of El Chorillo in the district La Casa de Piedra, the House of Stone, in Panama City. He began sparring with experienced boxers at the Nico de la Guardia Gymnasium when he was only eight years old. Amateur Career Duran competed as an amateur, compiling a record of 29 to 3, other sources say 18 to 3 or 13 to 3, with all three losses coming in Duran's first three amateur fights. Following his amateur career, Duran made his professional debut in February 1968 at the age of 16. Professional Career Lightweight Duran won his first 31 consecutive professional fights, and scored knockout victories over future featherweight champion Ernesto Marcel and former super featherweight champion Hiroshi Kobayashi, culminating in his first title bout in June 1972, where he defeated Ken Buchanan in Madison Square Garden for the WBA lightweight championship. Duran, as a 2-2-1 underdog, scored a knockdown against the defending champion just 15 seconds into the opening round and battered him throughout the bout. He was well ahead on all three cards as the bell rang to end the 13th round, at which time Duran, apparently not hearing the bell, continued to throw a couple of extra punches as Buchanan lay on the ropes. As Duran continued punching, the referee, Johnny Lobianco, grabbed him to pull him away. He pulled down on Duran's arms, which led to a seemingly accidental low blow. Buchanan dropped to the canvas in pain. His trainer Gil Clancy later said he had believed the blow to have been caused by a knee. Duran was not disqualified from the bout, instead, he was deemed as winner by 13th round technical knockout. Columnist Red Smith of the New York Times wrote that Lobianco had to award the victory to Duran, even if the punch was a low blow, as anything short of pulling a knife is regarded indulgently in American boxing. Buchanan said he left the fight with sore balls. Duran followed up on his title-winning performance with several non-title matches. Later that year, in another non-title bout, he lost a 10-round decision to Esteban de Jesus. Duran got back on track with successful title defenses against Jimmy Robertson, 
Hector Thompson and future lightweight champion Guts Ishimatsu. In 1974, Duran avenged his loss to DeJesus with a brutal 11th round knockout. In 1976, he defeated future light welterweight champion Sol Mambi. Duran made 12 successful defenses of his title, 11 coming by knockout, and amassed a record of 62 to 1, his last defense coming in 1978 when Duran fought a third bout with DeJesus in a unification match wherein Duran once again knocked out DeJesus and captured his WBC lightweight championship. Duran gave up the undisputed lightweight championship in February 1979. Television Duran played the drug lord Jesus Maroto in Miami Vice Season 2, Episode 19. In Corporate Warriors, the fourth episode of the second season of the hit American crime drama CSI, New York, Duran is mentioned by the medical examiner while discussing a dead man found to have bone grafts put in his hands to boost his punching power. Music The song, The Eyes of Roberto Duran, by Tom Russell, from the album The Long Way Around, contains the lyric, Panama City, it's three in the morning, they're talking about the hands of stone. Duran is mentioned in the third verse of Nas' original demo for It Ain't Hard to Tell in the Line, metaphors of murder man, hidden like Roberto Duran, hold the mic in my hand, my lifespan. The musician Jackie Lavin recorded a song, Museum of Childhood, that explores the events of the second world title fight between Duran and Sugar Ray Leonard. Jazz musician Miles Davis, an avid boxing fan, recorded a tribute to Roberto Duran titled, Duran. Duran is also mentioned in the third verse of Paul Thorne's, Hammer and Nail, based on Thorne's nationally televised fight with Duran. I climbed in the ring with Roberto Duran and the punches began to rain down he hit me with a dozen hard uppercuts and my corner threw in the towel I asked him why he had to knock me out and he summed it up real well he said, I'd rather be a hammer than a nail. Texas rockabilly band Reverend Horton Heat mentions Duran in their song, Eat Steak, off of their album Smoke, M if you got M. Duran is mentioned in the salsa song, Paul Bailador, by Colombian singer Joe Arroyo in 1989, or Roberto Duran, Aya en Panama, Mano de Piedra. To Roberto Duran, in Panama, Hands of Stones. Duran is referenced multiple times in the song, Tu No Mas, by Alex Soria's band Chino. Duran's 1983 fight with Davey Moore is referenced in the 2014 single, The Possum, by American songwriter, Sun Kill Moon, i.e. Mark Kozalek, who often writes about boxers. Kozalek sings, they threw hard vicious guttural B-flats that shook their opponents slash like a tough Roberto, hands of stone, Duran, in the seventh round slash Davy Moore, June 16, 1983. Duran himself was a salsa singer once, leading an orchestra named Felicidad after his wife. They recorded albums and frequented television shows in Latin America. Duran is also mentioned by former rap duo Max and Sam, consisting of sports analyst Max Kellerman and his brother Sam, in their song, Young Man Rumble, with the line, Got skills got stamina got hands of stone like the champ from Panama. Duran is indirectly referred to in Kevin Morby's song, This is a Photograph, in which Morby's father's struggle with aging is likened to Duran's career, from his early bravado to the, no moss, fight against Sugar Ray Leonard. Now times the undefeated the heavyweight champ laughing in his face as it dances like Sugar Ray used to be, come on, come on, but now, no moss, no moss.